with Irish in, in their blood in the audience, any Irish here? Ta-da! No guesses. <laughs> um, well then, you might know, most of you hopefully will know, that last year was a, a big year for the Irish in that we were commemorating and celebrating 100 years since the 1916 Easter Rising. And uh, for those of you who might not know, the Easter Rising was a, was a difficult time in Ireland in when the Irish fought for their independence and their freedom. And I'm very proud to say that my great-grandfather was one of the first men that morning on O'Connell Bridge fighting for the Irish. And all of the men who fought um, were thrown in prison, believe it or not, and the five leaders of the Rising were put to death for fighting for their country, which is hard to believe because the Ireland we have nowadays is because of them and the part that they play for our country. Um, but, you know, what was amazing is, is despite never knowing my great-grandfather, I felt so close to him last year, seeing his name in the history books and hearing him being remembered at services at home in Ireland. It was a, a very, very special time for me and my family. And then I came across this song and it, it really hit home because it tells the story of Joseph Plunkett, who was one of the leaders of the Rising, who was put to death. And hours before his execution in his jail cell, he married the love of his life, Grace Gifford. And I think this song tells the most beautiful story of how the love of your life can equal the love of your land. Um, so I wanted to sing it for my great-grandfather today and anyone who might be remembering family. I do hope you enjoy this. This is called Grace. As we gather in the chapel here in old Kilmainham jail I think about these last few years or oh, will they say we failed? For all our school days they have told us we must yearn for liberty. Yet all I want in this dark place is to have you with me. 